Let us go back to the year 1735. At that time, Bengal had two ports. One was at Bhagavan Gola, and the other one was at Kashim Bazar. My ancestors are Chaturpadhyays by tradition, and they had been brought to Bengal by King Adishur in the medieval ages to perform the rituals, and they had settled in the area of Bhagavan Gola. which was a port and that was the center of business in those days and it was a domestic port where the entire produce of food grains is to be exported from there and people from gujarat from maharashtra from bengal from europe they used to travel all the way to bhagwan gola and buy the food grains from there my ancestors ajodh ram roy and his and his forefathers they used to reside at a beautiful village by the name of pirozpur which was on the banks of the river and they had their business of exports of food grains and agricultural produce in bhagwan gola but what happened was that mushidabad was very rich in those days and it is written in the books of history that the riches of mushidabad was far greater than the city of london because of this huge export and import business that used to happen to the ports of Bhagwan Gola and Kashim Bazar, and this is the news that travelled far away to the lands in Maharashtra and the Dacoits, who were known as Borgies. They travelled all the way on horsebacks to the forest, and they came and then they plundered the wealth of Bhagwan Gola. And what happened was that they took away all the wealth, and it was economically devastated. But subsequently, the Nawab of Mushidabad he set up a huge army to resist. in case there was another attack but what happened there was no further disturbance for the next 6 years and the army became slack and lazy and they became unprepared and at this time the second time the borgies from maharashtra again they came on the horsebacks and this was second time a huge combing ex- uh, expedition which lasted for several months and they ransacked the villages and houses of all the wealthy people on both sides of the river bhagirathi and they took away all the wealth and they killed most of the people and finally they set fire to the port of bhagavan gola and the port down and the port burned down forever most of the people were killed in this merciless expedition but few survived including my ancestor ajodh ram roy and his wife and they lost their houses and buildings and thakur dalan and pujo dalan and everything was scrapped and raised to the ground and finally with nothing in hand they traveled to kashim bazar because that was an international port which before 1757 was visited by several european countries the dutch the french the armenians the british everybody sailed their ships from europe over three centuries and the ships used to dock in the port of kashim bazar the jetty was set up by the british people and this was a huge international export center and mushidabad was famous for exporting indigo spices bell metal utensils mushidabad silk and of course the most exquisite thing was the ivory carvings of mushidabad and this was the reason why the europeans used to flock from the different countries and set their anchors in the port of kashim bazar and it was a very very rich center of business and my ancestors ajodh ram roy and his family they set up a small room with a veranda and they started their family business once again of exporting silk and that is how in the subsequent few generations they were able to reestablish their fortunes of the family and slowly and steadily they started building this beautiful palace which today is known as the kashim bazar palace of the royals the royal palace or the rajbari as it is known today and this beautiful structures and houses were built over 10 generations and as you will understand or realize this this is not a single building but a various collection of buildings or a set of buildings that was built over 10 generations of the royals so this is in a nutshell the history of the kashim bazar royals families originally we were chattopadhyas we are brahmins but during the mogul times the our ancestors namely ajodh ram roy he was a very learned person and he was a noble person and to recognize his uh, activities the nawab of that time 
gave him the royal title of Rai, scholars RAI, and he was recognized with a silver stick and a kilat, which means a royal cloak. So this was how a nobleman was recognized during the Mughal times, and he had the title of Rai bestowed upon him, which continues as the title of the family in place of Chattopadhyay. Everything went on fine. The trade and commerce, business, exports to Europe, silk exports were fine, and there, there were a lot of fortunes and good opportunities of business. But suddenly, what happened? In 1757, disaster struck. What happened was that the Nawab Sirajuddaulah he was defeated by the British, and then the British people, the East India Company, they started to rule our country. And by that time, Kashim Bazar was a highly industrialized city, where the Dutch had the factory producing Mushidabad silk, and they had employed 750 workers, the local workmen, who were skills skilled to produce the finest of the Mushidabad silk, and. To compete with them, the French people they had also set up their factory producing Mushidabad silk, and also the English had their own factory. So three European nations they were competing with each other producing Mushidabad silk, and this entire uh, production used to be exported from here, and it was a huge activity. But what happened with the uh, rule of the British of the East India Company when they came into power? They closed down all the factories in Kashim Bazar. And they drove out the other European people from here, and the river, the Bhagirathi River, which used to flow all around the Kashim Bazar city, almost like an oxbow lake. It was a huge meandering serpentine river that used to flow. That river it overflowed its banks, and it is recorded in the history of books that the flood was so much that it inundated the lands, the entire land from Kashim Bazar to Bhagwan Gola, and it went under water. So subsequently. The river changed its course, and the East India Company they also put a uh, gate to the water movement all around Kashim Bazar, and the river became straight flowing, bypassing the land of Kashim Bazar. And thereafter, the port of Kashim Bazar was closed down for good. Trade and commerce industry it completely collapsed. There was huge plagues and earthquakes, and so many devastating things happened. And from a thriving industrialized city that existed for almost three centuries, Kashim Bazar turned into a small, poor village, almost forgotten in the lands of the forest. So this is what happened. And subsequently, the British rule came into power, and it was the the British people who started ruling us for the next two hundred years.